What's up, your squad? Welcome back to another Boom Beach Warships video. Finally, I made it to rank 18 with my, I can say, naked base. So, here is my current tech tree. I'm still missing a whole bunch of stuff. I don't have the building damage, I don't have motors, I don't have building health, I don't have the critter launchers. So yeah, I'm pretty much missing a whole bunch of stuff. I did get myself the barrage and that's probably why I managed to climb into the rank 18. Right now, I'm debating on either Zookas, those would help me a lot versus the dirty dirty four engine rooms, but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna go there. I wanna go for the shock mines. I will have the shock mines tonight. And after the shock mines, I was thinking on saving up and going towards the five engine rooms and then the bombardiers as soon as soon as I possibly can. And after that, there is another troop health over there. And then I'm going to go for laser rangers and then the seekers. So I think seekers might be a really, really good thing, especially since barrage is right there and also artillery is over here so I can clear some of the shock mines once I start facing those guys so yeah I'm kinda gonna go low and I'll just attack from the bushes collect the chests and that good stuff so I wanna try and collect as many chests as I possibly can in gold so hopefully that will give me another push point over there so here is my log I will show you some of the replays uh, most of these are actually versus the three engine room so I got a little bit lucky on my uh, matchmaking I'm barraging the top engine room and then just heavy rushing the other two that are on the bottom I'm doing pretty much the same exact stuff but I'm pretty sure I have that on my log so I will show you how I'm attacking the bases that are placed all the way in the back but that was really really easy and really nice attack sometimes my barrage does miss and I ended up losing over here I'm barraging the sky shield I need four barrages because I don't have the maxed out barrage just yet but as you can see I still managed to do a pretty pretty decent time I would say the only uh, problem is I don't have enough straight away for the uh, I would call the iron will so some of my heavies ended up dying but I still managed to do that and here is another base like this for again barraging down the top engine room I really really would like to max out my barrage but I won't be there just yet and especially since I want to upgrade my shock mines and try to slow down guys as much as I possibly can when Capone slash those are all all dirty dirty four engine room so there is not much that I can do again exactly the same base and again I'm doing exactly the same thing barraging the top engine room barrage is actually really really huge advantage versus the three engine rooms but I'm pretty sure I won't be facing any of the three engine rooms today, so it's gonna hurt for sure. 314. If the guys don't have the max out building health, I'm able to barrage down the sky shield with the only three barrages. As you can see over here, it only took me three barrages to take it down. And right after this drops, I'm just flaring, firing one of the iron wells. And then just flaring from one engine room to the second with a couple of the iron wheels. So it's pretty much really, really easy. 307 versus Bowser. I'm pretty sure he has the same base. Yeah, he does. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the 50% building health. No, he doesn't. Those are. Yeah, he does actually. I throw down three of my barrages. Here comes the fourth. And usually the fourth and uh, fourth barrage, I'm dropping it just to 
deal some extra damage on uh, on engine rooms and then just clear some of the surrounding mines because I don't want my heavies to step over those. Kalosh, I got really, really lucky on my boss fight for rank 18. It's another three engine rooms, but this time he had all of his uh, mortars, snipers, and machine guns in front, so I can clear those pretty easily and claim a lot of GBE. And then it's just straightforward flare from one engine room to another. And just like that, I managed to climb into the rank 18. Now, let's jump into a couple live attacks and let's see if we can do anything over here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be just facing all the 30 34 engine rooms. I was practicing my hits on four engine rooms, 34 engine rooms with my mini account. So, but it actually all depends on what kind of base i face so we will see how all this is gonna go rank 17 four engine rooms i would say it's a pretty pretty dirty dirty one building health and all that okay so right now i'm gonna go like this all of them on this side wait a little bit on brick because Briggs does tend to run in front of my max and he got gets demolished so that's something I can't actually afford I know I'm gonna be losing a whole bunch of these attacks but like I said earlier I just want just want my engine rooms so we will see how all this is gonna go I will shock over here I will do one of these and then I'm gonna go and reflare after this drops. So here comes the reflare. I will drop a shock over here also. Another battle orders. This is how I've been attacking on my mini account. So it does uh, clear the base, but it actually gives me really, really, really slow time. And as you can see, this guy is already way, way too fast. He's like way ahead of me. I'm already at 250 and that's something really, really bad. But like I said, I want my engine rooms as soon as I possibly can to get them. I don't want to risk anything. I just want engine rooms. I just want to collect and then Hopefully with the I'm not quite sure if the machine guns are gonna slow down not the machine guns the shock mines are gonna slow those guys that much but with the five engine rooms and the bombardiers I should be able to clear a lot a lot faster than this so let's jump into one or two more attacks tomorrow probably I will be showcasing you my mini account that's super super dirty for engine rooms with pretty much everything with building health building damage critter launchers and all that good stuff it's currently at rank 17. i just did a couple attacks i wanted to practice some four engine room hits because i needed to collect those chests over here so and I also wanted to showcase you on how I actually managed to get into the rank 18. That that uh, rank 18 chest actually gives me the uh, how it's called the shock mines one chest earlier. Instead of waiting until tomorrow morning, I will have the shock mines tonight. So in around what I don't know, like eight hours from now seven hours something like that i will have the shock mines i probably won't be playing as much it seems like brick okay i thought brick was gonna be targeted but i guess he's not let's shock over here let's do this 
let's shock over here because this griddle launcher is actually already shooting and I need this griddle launcher on the left hand side to go down before I can do anything let's fire up another uh, another I would call the battle orders shock over here I probably should have started to barrage down this thing over here but maybe it was a little bit wiser if I saved up and did the couple battle orders but maybe this will help me a little bit maybe it won't but I just want my endonooms and that's pretty much it so let's just clear this base grab my engine rooms grab my chest and after that i will end up the video so you can see going from the right hand side actually does give you a clear but it seems like on this one we might even fizzle because we have only one of my max still alive so this is gonna be really really slow time usually I end up around 2 minutes and 20 seconds with the approach like this and this is actually the main reason why I would like to grab myself Zookas because I'm pretty sure I can do times like 250 or something like that so uh, I actually wouldn't be surprised if I get myself uh, Zookas I can I probably see myself getting those so either way after this attack is done i'm gonna be wrapping up the video for today guys so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new we are really really close to 2k subscribers so i want to thank you guys on all the support hit that like button it means a lot and also comment down below on how your season is going so far Yo-yo is out guys, peace.